Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the Internal Revenue Service. Welcome to my YouTube station. It's the home of the five minute or less, maybe a little more, maybe a little longer. Um, I worked at IRS for a decade. I have been in private practice for 40 years, don't I look good? I've worked over 10,000 cases and I'm a national expert in IRS resolution matters. When I worked at IRS, I taught, one of the things I did is I taught the offer and compromise program. I'm an expert in how to settle your debt with Internal Revenue Service. Um, I've been on the national news a lot. You can go and see my videos at 777irs.com. And more important, that you can look at my team of former IRS agents and tax attorneys. Um, I do these videos for three reasons. I tell you the truth. You hear honesty from me. I give you enough information where you can represent yourself or be represented. And I give you insider information and secrets into the Internal Revenue Service when I can do that. Uh, working for IRS as a revenue officer, like I said, I taught the offer and compromise program. So um, Peter Salinger, who's on my team, has worked over 2,500 offers and compromise or debt settlements or tax debt forgiveness, whatever you want to call them. Everybody has a different name. And I want to give you two of the most important tips for offers and compromise that you can get. First of all, I want you to know that as a former agent, there's only two things I was interested in the financial statement. I want to know what your assets were, and I want to know what your income and expenses were. Uh, were uh, are, are. IRS drills down on those two things. If you have the money to pay the tax, and they're wrapped up in assets or IRAs or, or, or uh, equity in a home, IRS isn't going to accept your offer. If you owe $100,000 in tax, and you have about $200,000 in assets, maybe you can't liquidate, IRS is not going to settle your case. So if you have the assets to pay the tax, don't bother sending in an offer. Don't bother contacting somebody. Don't bother paying anyone. You're not going to get your offer accepted. IRS is going to want to know the pure equity that you have, and that's the basis for the offer and compromise. Secondly, IRS is going to drill down on your income and expenses. IRS has a very uh, narrow target field or boundaries as to how much they're going to allow you to live on expenses. So what IRS did is in conjunction with the Department of Labor, they've come up with the statistical formula or set of standards that they use, and they're called the IRS National Standard Program. So IRS wants to know what your income is, and they want to know that you're living within your means. What is within your means? Well, you can go ahead and Google within your means according to the Department of Labor. You can go ahead and Google IRS National Standards for Food and Clothing. IRS National Standards for Housing and Utilities, IRS National Standards for Car Operation, IRS National Standards for Allowance for Vehicles. IRS is going to dictate to you what, what you can spend for those expenses. You can't go over and above. Now, there are a lot of things you can do back and forth to create a different environment and scenario, and that is my secret sauce. But I want to tell you, do not give your money to anybody. You see these ads, you see these letters, you see these commercials that we can settle your uh, uh, debt for uh, pennies on a dollar. Yeah, 90% of that's all garbage. 90% of those people, I'd say 95, don't even qualify. They're just really good ads. And by the way, if you do want to hire someone that's not me, first of all, shame on you, but if you do, Make sure you give the IRS financial statement, that is the IRS Form 433-AOIC, to that person. Let them review it and make sure you are a settlement candidate. I also suggest you, you can either speak to an attorney, a CPA, an enrolled agent, because no one else can represent you in front of Internal Revenue Service but those. So don't get caught up with all the sucker ads that you see. They're just not going to work. So you can contact me anytime you want and give you a free consultation. I'll review your financial statement and let you know if you're even eligible. Just another thing, if you're going to do it yourself, put a cover letter on it. Let IRS know what's really going through your life. Give them documentation and exhibits. The other thing you need to know, you got to make sure all your tax returns are filed. And if you're self-employed, you must have all ES payments up to date by the time you're sending in your offer and or, and or you're withholding. Anyway, now you know the truth. You got the inside information. You got the scoop from the actual tax expert. Give me a subscription. You know why I need them? Because I move up the chain. I move up the chain if you go ahead and give me subscriptions. If you don't, I stay down on the bottom. But I was pretty good today. Thank you.